welcome back to another one of my taste test videos. Today I went all the way out to Mapuna Puna to try Taka's box lunch because I heard they have the best loco moco on the island. So I'm trying their loco moco and I'm trying their smoked meat bento. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the Lokomoko because obviously they're supposed to have the best one on the island. So I really wanted to try it. Look at this. Oh my god, it looks so good. You can see those eggs, they look like they're cooked perfectly. There are two, looks like homemade beef patties, um, a lot of gravy, one scoop of rice, and this macaroni salad right here. And this, this salad right here, this mac salad, is made with spaghetti noodles. And spaghetti noodles is kind of like an old school, like Hawaii thing. We used to go to potlucks and people used to make macaroni salad out of spaghetti noodles. So that's something that's very Hawaii. Anyway, I wanted to try it. It looks like it's so good. Anyway, many, many people have said that this is their favorite Lokomoko on the island. And you know me, I've tried a lot of Lokomokos, so I'm kind of hard to please. Okay, so I'm gonna have to break that egg open because you know what I say, it can't be a really great Lokomoko if the egg is overcooked or undercooked, so we'll see. Actually, it looks like the egg is cooked perfectly. Look at that. Anyway, let's break this open. <gasps> Ooh, look at that yolk. Oh my God, what's he call that liquid gold? Look at that, both eggs, perfectly, perfectly cooked. That's incredible. That's good. Okay, look at that egg. I, gotta, I just gotta show that egg because, oh my gosh, it's cooked so perfectly. Okay, they've already got one point in their favor for me. The egg is cooked perfectly. The second thing is that I like my Lokomoko wet, which means that I like a lot of gravy and I like homemade patties, so we'll see. Already that yolk, look at that. It's like so overtaking everything. Okay, let's try it. Okay, first of all, that's really good. The homemade patty is so tender and juicy. I think I've been to places that had patties that have a little bit more flavor, but this is really good. I like the texture of the patty. Like I said, it's very like uh, tender and juicy. And of course that egg yolk just gives it like such a rich, rich flavor. I'm usually not a macaroni salad fan, but I wanted to try this because it like had the old school spaghetti noodles and it looks really good. So I wanted to try it. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Okay, for one, it has a lot of flavor. A lot of times when you go to these places and they have macaroni salad, it's just like mayonnaise. And there's really not a whole lot of flavor to it. But this one has like a lot of flavor. It's really good. And somehow it really goes well with the, um, the you know, like the egg yolk and the gravy. It goes really well with the locomoco. Okay, and I forgot to mention, but this whole um, locomoco plate it was only like 11.50. Can you imagine that? Like 11.50 for this huge plate. And it also came with a drink. So, I mean, to me that's like a really good deal. Where can you buy a plate lunch for 11.50 these days? I really like this. Is this the best locomoco that I've ever eaten? I don't know if it's the best. Um, but it is in the top 5, I think. Definitely top 5. So they are also known, tacos is also known for their bentos um, and their box lunches, which is why they're called tacos box lunch. But I decided to get their smoked meat box lunch, which it comes with rib tips, it comes with these smokies, it comes with like this uh, fish cake thing, it comes with, um, that's kimchi, and um, this taegu thing, and shumai. So it should be really, really good. This is the smoked meat, the rib meat. So I'm gonna try this. Mmm, that's really good. Ooh, it has a little bit of a kick to it. But I like that because the meat is very tender and it does have a really nice smoked, like, keave grill flavor to it, which is really nice. So next thing I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try this shumai. It just looks like it's a deep fried shumai. 
Mm, which it is and it's really good because shumai is like um like dim sum so it has like a noodle skin around it and it has like shrimp inside this is really good they have little smokies in here mmm that's really juicy and fish cake you know which I love fish cake this looks like it has like um vegetables inside that's really good now, taegu, I'm not that fond of, but I'll eat it. Kind of spicy. Um, kind of has like a fishy taste. Let me see. It's good. It's probably the best taegu I've ever tasted. And then the kimchi, because I'm not very sp uh, fond of spicy things. I'm not a kimchi person, but actually their kimchi is pretty good. Their kimchi is a little bit more um, salty and a little less spicy, which I really like. This is actually a really good uh, bento box one. And before I forget to mention it, this bento is $13.50. So you get all of this and it's $13.50 and this also comes with a drink. I am really surprised by the food quality at Taka's Box Lunch. I had heard that they had really good uh, lokomoko and everybody goes for their lokomoko. And I really liked it. Um, like I said, was it my favorite ever? Probably not, but it was probably within the top five of the lokomokos that I've ever tasted. And that's pretty good because I've tasted a lot of lokomoko. Oh my god, the macaroni salad was just amazing and that surprised me to absolutely no end because I'm not a macaroni fan, macaroni salad fan at all. But I love their macaroni salad. I think that I would just buy their macaroni salad by itself. But it seemed to go really well with the lokomoko too. And their lunchbox, which they are known for, their smoked meat lunchbox was really good too. It has a nice variety of things. The meat had a really nice smoky flavor to it. And um, some of the things in there were a lot better than I expected them to be. I'm not a huge kimchi fan, but I really like the kimchi in that. Okay, so if you are on the island of Oahu and you happen to be in the Mapuna Puna area, you should really check out Taka's Box Lunch because they have a lot of really great food at really great prices. They are only open Monday through Friday, so if you work during the weekday, you're actually going to have to go on one of your days off. They are not open on the weekends. But anyway, go check them out, go support them, support our local businesses. Thank you very much for joining me.